I'm here with senior center of the UNH men's basketball team, Chris Pelter, who has had quite a uh, experience, you know, interesting career here at UNH and a different career path than most basketball players in the NCAA. Talk a little bit about your transfer and coming from Iona College. I know it's always hard to transfer and then sit out a year because of regulation. Talk about your time here at UNH. Well, I mean, I really enjoyed my time here and hopefully it'll just continue to get better. Um, with sitting out my first year, you know, you really got to learn the ways of Coach Harry and then get to see what he likes. And then last year was, I mean, a learning experience. And then this year we've, we've, we're off to an okay start, which is hopefully we can continue to build on it and, I mean, just keep getting better. Sure. Definitely a very interesting start. A good, strong start for you, though, a very impressive start. You're a captain of this year's squad. You already have, I believe, three double-doubles in your three games. Talk about what the season's been so far, like, this year. Well, you know, we, really, we started out doing well, and then we dropped the game recently. But hopefully we can try to turn things around and keep going. But, you know, me being a, a center, all my, like, I don't get the ball if it doesn't come from a guard. So it's really just a team effort, you know. Guys pass the ball inside. I try to get it out if I get double teamed, and hopefully they get open shots, which helps us all. Sure, and some areas of improvement for you this year. What are you focusing on individually? Um, just rebounding and trying to get more rebounds and do a better job. Last year I had my numbers were kind of down rebounding, so Coach Herring really harped on it during the off season. So I'm trying to get as many rebounds as possible to help the team. But you're off to a great start this year, so that's good. Talk about playing with the other seniors in your time here. I know this is your final year at UNH, and you've had two years with them playing on the court, one off the court. What's it been like playing with them? I'm sure you have some great memories. It's just It's been great. I mean, guys like Jordan, he's one of the most unselfish guys I've ever played with. All he does is just he locks in defensively, and whenever you're open, he'll get you the ball. And then you got guys who can score the ball, like Pat. Pat can shoot threes, drive the ball to the basket. He's also a good defender. And then you just got Scott Morris, who just it doesn't matter. As long as he's in the gym, he can make a shot. He just outside the three, just knocks it down. So, I mean, it's really been good. And they're good guys. We, we all hang out off the, off the court, which is good. So it's nice. And playing for the coaching staff here, Harry and the rest of the staff, what's it been like playing for them? I know they give a good support base. Um, I mean, it's been nice. They're, they're good guys. They help me off the court. And then I have like academic struggles. They're always there for you to make sure that you're doing well. Um, Coach Dempsey was the guy who actually recruited me to come here, and he's been a big help like all the way through. And then like me and Coach Moore on the court, we always work out together. And Coach Koontz is just a great guy. And, He's a, he's a funny guy. And then you got Ryan, who was actually on my team. My The year I sat out, he was on the team. So he went from being a, a player with me to now being a coach. So it's funny because I have a bond with him as like a friend, but he's still a coach. So. Sure. And you're co-captain of this year's team. Congratulations. What's it been like being a leader of this year's team, and how do they differ from previous years? Well, we have so many young guys and then so many old guys. It's not really guys in the middle. Like you have. Frank and Logan, who are really the only sophomores. And then you have freshmen and seniors, so it's not like you like as a senior, the the freshmen really look up to us, and we, we try to help them along because we've we've all been through like the the freshman blues where you have like the struggle in the beginning of the year, and then hopefully they'll start to get better at the end of the year. But they started off well, so. Sure. I know it's somewhat earlier in your last year here, but do you have any plans for May when you graduate? Um. Not yet. I'm trying to just take it game by game. I don't even look at who we play next week. I try not to think about that stuff. Just take it the two days before the game and then the game and then start thinking about the next play. I don't even think about May yet. Sure. Well, good luck the, last, the rest of the season. Senior Center, Chris Pelcher.